Blissful morning everyone. Ang topic natin ngayon ay chapter 19. Hey Kelly, Psychology of Personal Constructs. Magkukasyon na answer tayo and sa link may kuha yung certificate. So, that's items fill in the blanks. Kelly's theory can be called a blank because it is mostly a theory about theories. So, the correct answer is Meta theory. Number two. Kelly recorded people as blank because they ask questions, formulates hypotheses, and looks for evidence. Number two, scientists. Number three. The Psychology of Blank Constructs is Kelly's best-known book. So the correct answer is personal. Number four, personal blank are our way of interpreting events. So constructs. Number five, to Kelly, present constructs are subject to blank or replacement. Correct answer is revision or change. Number six, Kelly believed that personal blank are not facts. They hold the key to an individual's future. So, correct answer is constructs. Number seven, if a construct is to exist, there must be both a blank and a contrast. So, the correct answer is comparison. Number eight, Kelly's basic postulate assumes that people processes are directed by the ways in which they blank events. So, the correct answer is anticipate. Number nine, Constructive blank refers to Kelly's assumption that all of our present interpretations are subject to revision or replacement. So number nine, correct answer is alternativism. Number 10, the blank corollary states that people anticipate events by construing their replications. So number 10 is construction. Number 11, the organization corollary specifies or emphasizes the relationship among Correct answer is constructs. Number 12, the blank corollary assumes that personal constructs are finite and not relevant to everything. So the correct answer, number 12, is range. Number 13, Kelly's blank corollary assumes that the extent to which we revised our constructs is related to the degree of permeability of our existing constructs. So number 13, modulation. Number 14, in spite of repeated blank, unhealthy people hold on to their personal constructs. So number 14, invalidation. Number 15, people experience blank when they see that the stability of the basic constructs is likely to be shaken. So number 15, trend. Curly defined number 16, blank, as the sense of having lost one's whole structure. So number 16, guilt. Number 17, Kelly believed that blank is more specific and incidental than threat. So correct answer is fear. Number 19, pathological blank exists when people realize that their incompatible constructs can no longer be tolerated. Anxiety. And 19, Kelly used blank therapy to help change clients. Uh, to help clients change their outlook on life by acting out a predetermined goal. So, 19 fixed rule. Number 20, Kelly's concept of blank choices explain how present choices expand the range of our future choices. So, the correct answer 20 is elaborative. Let's go to true or false. Number 1, George Kelly's theory is a theory about theories. True. Number 2, Kelly's theory allows for change even if in its own basic assumptions. True. Number three, Kelly insisted that behavior is shaped by a person's environment. False. Number four, Kelly realized that his theory was a set of half truths. True. Number five, Kelly accepted the phenomenological position that our perceptions are our own reality. So number five, false. Number six, like Adler, Kelly thought that our interpretation of events is more important than the event itself. True. Number seven. Kelly assumed that the universe really existed. True. Number eight. It is virtually impossible for incompatible constructs to exist within a person. So, number eight, false. Number nine. Personal construct theory attempts to explain nature. False. Number 10. A person's construction system exists only in the present. True. Number 11. Can you believe that psychological disorders are a result of childhood experiences? False. Number 12. 
People who have never developed a core role do not feel guilty. Number 12, true. Number 13, the personal construction system of people who have psychological disorders is much narrower than the construction systems of psychologically healthy individuals. True. Number 14, can you believe that life belongs to the same cultural group mostly because they construe their experience in the same manner? 13, true. Number 14, can you believe that people belong to the same cultural group mostly because they construe their experiences in the same manner? Ah, tapos na yan. 30, uh, 14, true. Number 15, the purpose of fixed role therapy is to help clients change their outlook on life by having them act out a predetermined role. 15, true. 16, Kelly had a basically pessimistic view of human nature. False. 17, personal construct theory is more teleological teleological than causal. True. 18. Harper and Schumann found that people who rely heavily on gender stereotypes tend to have basic prejudices. Number 18 falls. So number 19. Although Kelly's theory, personal theory was quite unique, his practice of psychotherapy remains strongly psychoanalytic. False. Number 20. Kelly's theory addressed such basic psychological concepts as motivation, learning, and development. False. Let's go to multiple choice. Number one. Kelly's college education may have influenced by his later writings, which are sprinkled with letter C, biblical references. Number two. Kelly's personal construct theory should be viewed as letter A, meta theory. Number three. Compared, can you compare a person's attempts to interpret and explain events to those of the letter A scientist? Number four, can you believe that his theory, like all others, for letter C, is subject to change and revision? Number five, can you assume that present interpretation are subject to revision and change is called be constructive alternativism? Number six, can you explicitly assume that Letter A, the universe exists. Facts, according to Kelly, letter C, carry meaning to us, for us to discover. Number eight, personal constructs are best defined as letter D, transparent templates or patterns that help people make sense out of the world. Number nine, all personal constructs, Kelly said, have at least letter A, one comparison and one contrast. Number then, Kelly's fundamental postulate assumes that, letter B, people guide their actions by the ways they predict the future. Number 11, Kelly's construction theory, construction corollary assumes that people, number 11A, construe similar events in an identical fashion. Number 12, the notion that people differ from one another in their construction of events best describes Kelly's, number 12D, individuality corollary number 13 which of kelly's corollary explicitly assumes an ordinary relationship among constructs so 13 a organization 14 the assumption that personal constructs are limited to a finite number of events reflects this corollary t range 16 uh, 15 permeable constructs that are b permit change 16 kelly's which of Kelly's colonialist assumes that people can hold seemingly compatible beliefs? Letter C, fragmentation. 17. Kelly defined role as letter B, a pattern of behavior resulting from our understanding of the constructs of others. 18. Kelly compared psychologically unhealthy people to 18A, incompetent scientists. Number 9. Team Kelly defined threat as letter B, the awareness of an immediate and basic change to our core structure. Number 20, in order to facilitate clients' discovery of hidden aspects of themselves, Kelly, letter C, use fixed role therapy. So for the short answer, number one, explain the difference between a concept and a construct. Number two, Please scale is four elements that result in psychological disturbance. Number three, explain the difference between threat and fear. Number four, explain the purpose of fixed pole therapy. Five, list two criticisms of rep test. And number six, discuss at least two research reports that have used the rep test. So these are the answers. E. 
And thank you so much. Pag nakaabot tayo ng 1,000 followers, mamimili tayo ng gold jubilees. Have a great day, Kalegacy. Bye!